we have been looking into money making strategies in between this and the last episode and I think we should probably drive up the ticket prices on these places because they're these these gardens are excellent but they don't make me nearly enough profit so let's bump that up a bit see how we do there good <clears throat> next it said you should have parks on highly visited areas so maybe we don't actually ever expand elm gardens up here um, because no one, this isn't at all a public, like a, an area that the public already goes through. What we want is parks that are a bit closer to home, more kind of integrated with the city, rather than just sitting on the outskirts. Understood. We will try that. Okay, so you need a bit more. Let's just make sure you encompass the whole wood. Good. So what we're going to probably do is try and set up a park like down here. Did I see someone who was terrible on parks? No, they're all good. We might want to set up a park like here. Or what would be really nice would be here, like at the foot of the university. We've also upped the taxes to 12%. We could also... Ooh, electricity availability is dipping. Is that because the dam is producing less? Yeah, the dam is only producing... Oh, it's going up, back up again, though. Hmm. Ho oh, hum. Well, we better have another backup thing. Oh, that's something I should Google, actually. What is the most cost-effective power thing? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ask, ask Google. I'm sure there's a spreadsheet. Like if we go to the city's skylines wiki, I bet there's like a just a table. Power. So show me a table. Here is the ta here is the table. Okay, and here is the automatic sorting by price per megawatt per week right the fusion power plant is the best then solar power plant wait a minute so solar power plant is better than solar updraft tower really is that right i'm not sure that's right let's have a look here solar updraft tower 2240 for 240 and this one Oh, because it's assuming it's going to be higher most of the time. Okay. Well, we'll build a couple of solar power plants um, out here in the industrial area. Seems appropriate. We might just need one for now. Now we should probably have another one. This is a bit of a big road as well. Let's downgrade this. Make it a bit cheaper. The other thing the guide said is don't have... Uh, Two large roads, so <laughs> that could help. So we'll plop those down. Give us more electricity availability. Good. Now, next. It said larger hospital units are more efficient. I think we should, it's probably time to empty and get rid of our cemeteries. Because they're in primo real estate areas. We'll, like, we'll keep one out here. But in the center of the city... This really should be becoming larger, more high-density residential. Look at that. We've got demand for res residential is spiking. This place can absorb some more traffic. Let's bring in some more high-density residential housing here. And maybe over on Bedford as well. This should be... Turn this down a second. That should be like one house, not, not two weird ones. No, the weird ones next to each other. Same here. But why is all this so mucked up? Let's just, let's just clear a bunch of this. Then rezone it. But not over here. This is still offices. And the centre should be offices too. You can set up some more offices if you like. Go for it. Good. Um, yeah, some more high density residential in here should help meet that demand. And then maybe... Uh, that's a park, right? I was thinking, why the heck is there nothing there? And yeah, we'll put some more high density here as well. Should make some more cash off that. Now, hospitals. We probably don't even need another hospital to take that out, because this one's going to be able to cover a lot of it. Maybe not. So if we were to move this down here onto the main road, it's very difficult to fit in anywhere. Perhaps 
one like here. Look at that. That's covering almost the whole damn city on the right hand side. And by putting it on the very main road, it's extending its reach. So we don't have good coverage all the way over here. But don't we have a small clinic? Yeah, how about a, a, just a small clinic to cater to this little extraneous area over here. And Bedford Hills, we never actually built a hospital in, it looks like. <laughs> Whoops. Bedford Hills needs a big hospital. Uh, which we can fit here. And yeah, if I fit it here, then as we expand more around here, it'll all still be covered by this hospital. Good. This isn't really reducing my upkeep because we just put down a second hospital. We only had one to begin with. Uh, but I think new... What is that? Oh, that's a sports hall, right. That's just a small health bonus. Six visitors in the last week. You are getting torn down, good sir. Six visitors is not enough to justify your existence in this economy. Okay, so, Shoreside Place. Do you need this medical clinic? No. Is the answer. So tear it down. This hospital's got you covered. Now, community pool. Six visitors in the last week. Apparently people do not like those community buildings, so we're going to tear them down. So health coverage. Right, there's a cemetery which I will be leaving out there. And new could actually have a cemetery as well. These have almost no upkeep, right? Yeah. They just like them. Okay, so now we have good health coverage at less expense. Yeah, good health coverage over the whole area. And are we cheaper? Good. Now, fire departments. Same logic. Let's actually just tear down all the small ones. That's not a small one. Whoops. <laughs> Put that back. Okay, they're all good now. Okay, now this one is a small one. The kind of L-shaped ones, the small ones. Take them down. Take them all down. Because apparently you can cover more space cheaper with the large ones. So, suddenly, fire! Now, big fire department placed in a nice central location. Yeah, it provides great coverage. About down here. Yeah, that can cover practically this whole place. Why is this still... Oh, right, and that one is actually covering... Oh, and there's one in here, right. We take that one out. So, put one of these here. Well, we probably will need one... Why can't I take these buildings down? Oh, there's a park there, maybe? Okay, what about... Yeah, here? It's giving good coverage to a huge portion of the area. Yeah, so I'll put one there. Okay, that's covering this area. Let's see what the new risk is like. So there's still kind of bad risk out here. How about... If I moved it a bit over here. To here. That's giving pretty good coverage now. And we don't need perfect coverage. Just good enough. Okay, now this area, you can probably do with just one. Like here. It does leave Pleasant Orchard kind of out in the cold. How about if we connected these two areas by a road and then put one on that road. Not bad. But if we connected them via a bigger road so that the, the trucks could move down faster and thereby spread fast further. It's not bad. And this side of Pleasant Park is kind of already covered. Dirty Corner needs its own one, I think. How is there a dead guy here? Do I have residential zoning here? Oh, there's a police station here with a dead guy in it. Okay. Um, right, his police station can go here. No, that's needed there. 
The dead guy will get transported. So, fire. There's some risk in here. We might be able to consolidate it just by moving some of our stuff closer to this end. Hmm. Like this. You can go here. You know, the less far that way we go, the less, the more we're covered by this one down here. I think that'll be okay. Now, uh, we should take down these roads, by the way, because we're not going to expend stand Earl Gardens, sorry, Elm Gardens out here anymore. We're going to leave the fence. Oh, we never got the Elm Gardens fence anymore. What could we put up here? I feel like there should be something up here. How about just some decorations? Like some a big stone circle. Or well, here, how about this? Yeah, like a a little section of cool rock outcrops. Yeah, I like it. Where are the really big ones? Yeah, cliff. We'll build a cliff. I like it. I like it. A few more of these. Okay, and now... Cliff should go a bit further around, really. Cool. Now all of these on the edge. But at a different angle, so it looks a bit less repetitive. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Okay, cool. Kind of overlooking the city. Yeah, I approve of that. Okay. We're making good money again. Demand for housing is up once more. So. More high density it is. These areas. That should be offices. And then where was I going to put more high density? I guess we can just put some down here. Another block of it. Good. Just keep meeting demand. There should be some more low over here. Okay. If you're going to have it here, you might as well have it all the way down. Junk. And then here. Once those goes away, go away. Excuse me. Once those go away, I said. Thank you. A bit more. One more tick. Ah, fine. That'll do. Uh, good. Now, these guys are all super happy because we won another game. Let's crank the ticket prices. We have, we have not lost a single game. <laughs> In any sport. <laughs> that is impressive. That is very impressive. <sighs> Alright. What else can we do? Well, this area kind of feels a bit empty, doesn't it? How about some more residential housing? Like a little little nice little lane. With some trees. Curving in like this. Giving us a bit more room. Also nice curved streets. Here. Maybe like a fully curved street, just like boom. Funky. And then this can be housing. You know what? Yeah, just 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 housing it all up and then I'll tweak it later. By later I mean in like ten seconds. Housing there, housing here. Okay. And then this inner bit is gonna be shopping. Chunk. It's going to be high density shopping. 
Ah, I didn't see shopping. There we go. Do, 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 do. Good, and then this area is going to be uh, offices so we can block the noise from the shopping area. Jolly good. And this can be shopping. Nice. That should work. And then a little smaller connection in here. Even if it has to be an odd angle. Just make it work. And then this can be residential. Jolly good. Okay. And now we just need a few more streets coming out here. So, okay, and then out here, and then me in here, something like that, and then one more little hijinks out here, like so. Okay, and that's all just lovely, nice, spread out, low traffic, low density residential. Nice. Okay, and it will need some parks to make it a little bit more livable. Make it a little less unpleasant. In fact, you know what? You guys can have a botanical garden. I'm feeling generous. What's the upkeep on these things? It's not even that bad. You can have a botanical garden of your very own. And you're going to need a bus route. These guys can stop here. This one can extend out a bit. No, no, not a new one. This one. Just extend out to stop in a number of places on the main through fair here. And in here. Good. And this one can go by here. Good. Bunch of stops. You will also need watering. That is fine. Voila give you water. Nice! Now we have some room for more development and this can all be part of the new sector. Chunk. There we go. Okay, new room for a more development for a rich um, and up and coming city. Now how is the park coverage in here? Pretty good. I kind of feel like this area should maybe have some housing on it too actually. Just on the inside of the road. Make traffic a bit worse, but traffic really, we've been managing it really well so far. Ah, oh, okay, actually, I take that back. Here is now having problems. Mostly because of this side to side connection, probably. Yeah. Hmm. That's a problem. Where are most of these people trying to go? No, excuse me. The ones that are here. Almost all of them are trying to go either straight on or left. Okay. Let's adjust. This is going to go back underground. Then back up and connect in down there. Without traffic lights. No traffic lights. Needed. Just a wait. Just a stop there. Good. And then it's also going to split underground again. Come across here. And if you want to go left, you'll want to be driving on the left, which is perfect. Because this plugs you in right there on the left. And here again, no traffic light. Just give way. No traffic light. Just give way. No traffic light. Just give way. Okay, and that should really solve the problem because now, once again, they're just merging in at the sides rather than merging in immediately before a busy junction. Now, here we're having problems because all these people want to go into one lane. Let's take a look at why that is. <laughs> it's a little bit complicated. 
Um, these guys don't all want to go in one direction. So they shouldn't all want to be in one lane. I haven't got the wrong kind of road or anything. Maybe it's a temporary problem? Why are they all trying to merge into this lane? Or are they not? It's just that the ones that aren't merging into that lane are getting away faster? Mm. Whoops. Sorry. Left the mouse scrolling while I got a drink. Um, well, on the bright side, I was going to say this is fixed. It's not fixed. <laughs> it looks worse, in fact. Uh, possibly because some of the people that were coming off here were trying to go right here. Yeah. And now they go around the roundabout and arrive here. How about we try it with a traffic light? Sometimes traffic lights are better. Sometimes they're not. Let's give this a go. While that's figuring out what's, what life is like with a traffic light. Um, well, like, none of these guys... Well, very few of them want to go up. A lot of them are just trying to go over into this Bedford Hills area. So how's the metro connection to the Bedford Hills area looking? It's pretty good. You've got the central line. Hmm. Maybe the central line needs a better connection to Hillside Heights. Because a new area in Hillside Heights doesn't have a great connection straight across. So maybe we set up... I mean, it's expensive and we're trying to improve our economy, but maybe we set up a whole new line. It takes you directly to the wonderful Botanical Gardens. It stops off in the up-and-coming new development. It pauses in the town centre, near all of the l tube lines that you've come to know and love. It pauses in out-of-the-way but important cultural locations. And finally, it drops you off at multiple convenient locations throughout Bedford Hills. be able to pick a height for your station. Ah. <laughs> it's hard to tell which of these is lower down when they're just like grey outlines. Why don't you go down now, under here, under here, and then over like here. Turn it down again. Pull that off. Alright, it's going to be a weird line. It's going to be a weird line. Get, just, just prepare yourself for the fact that this is going to be bizarre. So we'll go down twice, because this one is already low. And then it's going to go over here. And then it's going to go up again to get to here. Okay. And now from here... We're going to thread the needle. Thread the needle. Oh, okay, it's already lower than the road. Good. Just curve over here. Where's the stop? Oh, there it is. And then go over here. Go down one to go under this line. And go across a bit and then straight up to the station. And from the other side of the station, should be an easy time. Easy-ish. So we're going to down one. Along a bunch. Down again. Up one. Along a bit more. Along a bit more. Up a bit. And the slope's too steep. Uh, okay, well the final station can in fact be here. Up a bit. I know. 
Nice. Okay, so the new line. <clears throat> it's just going to run. Oh, we haven't finished yet. So this is a new line to reflect the new and developing outskirts of our city that have become a more integral and traffic-heavy part of its economy. So we'll do this, and it doesn't create any noise pollution. It's great. It's going to be expensive. It's a big line. But this is officially the new line. And you can be blue, high-tech. Sure. Okay, that should help alleviate some strain on the roads. With lights, this area is a lot more efficient. Good. Something we could try here, which could be a bit funky, but would be kind of fun, is you come off the side here. You have to curve it. If you want to go straight on at that junction, how about you do that? Underground. You come up here, and then you merge in here. This is really in the way. It's fire station. Let's move it slightly. Okay. Now this can go. We're going for kind of radical traffic solutions here. <laughs> and I like it. Come up. Just come up. Ah. ah. Come out to here and then go up. Then go in. <gasps> He's done it. So if you want to avoid getting stuck at this junction, you can instead just take a quick detour underground and pop up over here. It's fabulous. And that should help. There comes our blimp <laughs> coming into land. <laughs> Maybe we should have something similar here. Curves. Because we could go with uh, like an off ramp here. It just takes you directly to the exit. So if you just want to get the heck out of the city, you just go over there. Now this street needs to continue to exist in as complete a fashion as possible to enable that high density housing to not all get knocked down. And you don't really want to be the one that lives right by the off ramp. But so if you want to turn left here, which some of you guys do want to do, right? Yeah, lots of you want to come on here and go straight off here. So once traffic realizes this change, it's going to come over here. I like this. I like this a lot. It looks like the traffic overall has got quite a bit better. Uh, the problem is some of the people coming up here want to go right. Which is causing a few issues. But apart from anything else, this is just a fun traffic arrangement. <laughs> I like it. Alright. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'm going to call it a part here. This is a thing of beauty. It's not even gummed up. Yeah. Ow, God, my hand. Just punched my mic on. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. It's been a pleasure. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. The madness continues. You know, we can make it even more mad. Like what about what about one coming off here to enable you to go over here more easily? Because you're just turning right. And yeah, you're only allowed to use this if you're turning right. And you're only allowed to use this. Excuse me. You're only allowed to use this. Uh, hello, game? I can't tweak this one. Damn it. I want to make it so you can only turn right here so I'm not causing traffic. Can I do it on this one at least? I can't do it on top. Hey, there we go. 
can only turn right here. So I should be able to do it on this one as well. I just have to click further back, it looks like. There we go. Yeah, no turning left here. Are these ones all sorted like that as well? You should only be a right turn. Yeah. You should only be a right turn. Well, straight on. They are slowing down a little bit as they reach that corner, but that's okay. Nice. All right, well, I'm going to call it a part here. This is a thing of unparalleled beauty. Uh, we do have some problems turning left here. We could put another one in, like here. No, okay, this is enough for now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.